I'm Corey Barlog, the director of God of War. What were your goals heading into this new game? I think to rip it all up and start from scratch. You know, initially I had this idea, this sort of personal story that I wanted to tell for Kratos to see if we could move him to the next stage of his life, to kind of create a situation in which you could actually care, you know, uh, about Kratos, root for him, you know. What has Norse mythology opened up for you creatively? Oh, wow. Norse myth is fantastic. I mean, it is a... It's an amazing landscape of things that you can do inside of this, uh, but it's also, you know, it's very isolating, like, and that's what we wanted. We wanted to create a situation where Kratos and his son were really the only ones that they could rely on. They weren't filled with a world of, you know, villages of people or anything like that. This is actually a time period uh, pre-migration, which was pre-Viking era. So this is very early times when the gods and the monsters were said to have walked the earth. So it's very barren, very empty. What has the axe opened up for you guys in terms of weapons? Ah, the axe. It's fantastic. I mean, going to the new camera view, getting a much more intimate, personal kind of view of Kratos, uh, created a whole new challenge with controlling space. And combat in our game has always been about controlling the space around Kratos. Uh, the camera being far back always allowed you to do that very easy with the blades. With the axe, we're kind of leaning into this concept of the player being able to control the camera. Wherever you look, press the button, you're going to get an attack in that direction. So it's really nice. It's a feel that feels very familiarly different. You know, you recognize it, but it's also new. It feels different. What's the balance been like of, of that old but new in developing this game? It's interesting. I think we've kept a pretty good balance. There's a lot of stuff that we've carried over. Uh, we didn't throw out things to throw them out. We kind of really put the Pepsi challenge to all of these things to realize, like, is this really necessary? Does this work? Does this make the game better? This doesn't, but we have this really cool idea of how we can retell that. Hey, this is a really neat way of doing things so that if something worked in the previous and it works here, it works. We're not going to change it. How does the dynamic evolve when it comes between Kratos and his son? Very slowly. Uh, he is, he's a character that, that, that is struggling to change, you know, and the sort of, uh, the, the goal of this journey is Kratos is teaching his son how to be a god, what it is to be a god and what it is to not make the same mistakes he did, but he's learning from the kid how to be a human being, this, this sort of humanity that he lost a long time ago that he's going to start to get back. He gets it pulled out of him by his kid, which... I feel like that kind of happens to all of us, you know. We've talked a lot about balance uh, just recently, but uh, what's the balance between the Kratos we know from the past and the Kratos in here, especially you use that Hulk reference? Ah, uh, yeah, the, the monster. Yeah, the monster in the box. Uh, Eric Williams, one of the comment designers on the original game, uh, came up with that. And it's really that sense of he has a monster inside of him. In the previous game, the monster was let out all the time, 24-7. In this game, Kratos is learning how to control that monster, you know, how to not always have it out, how to have a measured decision, you know, how to think better, you know, how to show his kid that he can do something different. You know, it's still, he's still powerful, he's still God, he's still empowering, you know, uh, the player to do so many great things and teaching the son about doing these things, but it's also that balance of tactically when is the right thing to do, it strategically when is the right thing. And you still have the ability to go rage and, and go after that uh, troll in a unique way as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Rage is still sort of a, it's actually a mechanic. It's interesting because as he goes through and he struggles with being able to control this kind of internal rage, we've also sort of bottled that up into a mechanic and, you know, you can explore it in so many different ways. Can you give us a sense of size of this world and, and, and exploration? You said it's a world that's open but not an open world. Yes. It's a... The, the exact size of the world is not nailed down specifically yet. It's a much bigger world. We are opening up every aspect and kind of widening the player's sense of the game so that you never really feel like you're just walking on a linear path. We want to kind of create moments of story that funnel you, but we also want to create a world in which you're like, I want to come back here. You know, I want to explore what's over there. What is that? Like there was an interesting comment a fan had told us once that said, God of War is one of those games where I look at something cool off in the distance and then I get to go there. And I feel like we did do that, but I want to make that even more real. 